One of the reasons we like to come out here, of course for the sight and sounds. We cook just so that we can stay at a spot longer. We're not rushing to get to the top of a peak or the end of a trail. Just to set camp and just slow down. Enjoy the simple things over a hot cup of coffee and a meal. Not sure if I've ever done a detail of my cook pot, cook set, and one of these days I will. For now, I'll just kind of take it apart. Salt Snow Peak, coconut, salt, pepper, garlic, onion. Inside my Snow Peak solo cooking pot. No peak, 450 cup, lighter. This is the Evernew titanium alcohol stove. Side there, a little pot grabber, and the addition of my little suction cup for the lid. You've seen that here in the last couple videos. Someone asked me what this suction cup is. If you go to a pet store and they have aquarium supplies, this is uh, all that suction cup is. It's just uh, little suction cups that stick on the side of an aquarium. And there's a little holder that holds uh, the plastic air hose. So that's just an aquarium suction cap and I just happened to put this little post and handle on there this is just a key ring with uh, silicon tubing inside the cup is the four dogs titanium windscreen so the cook kit is basically that. I'm going to have some coffee and then, of course, lunch. You are literally just standing in the creek, aren't you? Why? And your feet are getting cold. Come here, Cooper. So in the past two videos, I've been calling this a gear closet. Actually, it's called a uh, gear shed. I wanted to correct that, unless you guys were uh, out looking for something like this. MSR Nook Gear Shed. Cooper hasn't forgiven me for this. This is a tennis ball. He has a whole toy box full of tennis balls, and I took one. He did not like that at all. What I have here is Velcro. And with the tennis ball being uh, fuzzy, I just wrap that to keep that end of the tarp up. The tennis ball protects a uh, quarter 20 bolt that comes up through the top of this trekking pole because I also use this as a monopod as well. It's nearly freestanding. We have the trekking pole out front there. And the tent pole that forms the arch. I like the way it sets up. This little flat spot right along the creek. The first thing I have in here is uh, coconut oil. And I have it sitting 
on the Evernew in simmer mode. In simmer mode because we are adding cubes of beef and we want to brown this. I'll show you how well that's working out here. For stew meat, we want to boil it for a little while. So we are going to add some water. Our tender beef has been removed from the pot and we will set that off to the side for now. What we want to do next is heat the curry sauce with vegetables in the water. And this is just a pouch that we can put in the boiling water. And we will do that now. Waiting for a boil. We want one more item to steam, and that's the ready-made minute rice. So let's build this dinner. The steamed rice. The curry sauce with potatoes, carrots. This is my Flame On Cozy, and we've been keeping warm the whole time. That beef. Here's that minute rice. That looks awesome, actually. It smells really good. And it is hot. One thing I could have done is uh, boiled the uh, beef a little bit longer because it is still a bit on the chewy side. But that's excellent. Mm, 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 mm. And of course, Cooper gets some too. Not the spicy stuff. And Cooper is always great about leave no trace. 